Exodus from the Septuagint of Lancelot C. Brenton translation continuing in chapter 16 and they departed from Elim when all the congregation of the children of Israel came to the wilderness of Sin which is between Elim and Sina or Sinai and on the fifteenth day in the second month after their departure from the land of Egypt all the congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron and the children of Israel said to them <coughs> would we had died struck by the Lord in the land of Egypt when we sat by the flesh pots and ate bread to satiety satiety until we were satisfied for you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill all this congregation with hunger and the Lord said to Moses behold I will rain bread upon you out of heaven and the people shall go forth and they shall gather their daily portion for the day that I may try them whether they will walk in my law or not and it shall come to pass on the sixth day that they shall prepare whatever they have brought in and it shall be double of what they shall have gathered for the daily for the day daily and Moses and Aaron said to all the congregation of the children of Israel at evening you shall know that the Lord has brought you out of the land of Egypt and in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord inasmuch as he hears your murmuring against God and who are we that you continue to murmur against us and Moses said, This shall be when the Lord gives you in the evening flesh to eat and bread in the morning to satiety. Satiety. Because the Lord has heard your murmuring, which you murmur against us. And what are we? For your murmuring is not against us, but against God. And Moses said to Aaron, Say to all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before God, for he has heard your murmuring. And when Aaron spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, they turned toward the wilderness, and then the glory of the Lord appeared in a cloud. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, I have heard the murmuring of the children of Israel. Speak to them, saying, Toward evening you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall be satisfied with bread, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God. And it was evening, and quails came up and covered the camp. <clears throat> In the morning it came to pass, as the dew ceased round about the camp, that, behold, on the face of the wilderness was a small thing like white coriander seed, as frost upon the earth. And when the children of Israel saw it, <clears throat> they said to one another, What is this? For they knew not what it was. And Moses said to them, this is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. <clears throat> this is that which the Lord has appointed. Gather of it, each man for his family, a homer for each person, according to the member of your, number of your souls. Gather each of you with his fellow lodgers. And the children of Israel did so, and gathered some much and some less. And having measured the homer full, he that gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered less had no lack. Each gathered according to the need of those who belonged to him. And Moses said to them, Let no man leave of it till the morning. <clears throat> but they did not listen to Moses, and some left of it till the morning, and the bread worms and stank, and Moses was irritated with them, and they gathered it every morning each man what he needed, and when the sun waxed hot, it melted. And it came to pass on the sixth day, they gathered double what was needed, two homers for one man. And all the chiefs of the synagogue went in and reported it to Moses. And Moses said to them, It is not, is not this the word which the Lord spoke? Tomorrow is the Sabbath, a holy rest to the Lord. 
bake that you will bake, and see that you will see, and all that is over leave to be laid for, by for the morrow. And they left of it until morning, as Moses commanded them, and it stank not, and neither was there a worm in it. And Moses said, Eat that today, for today is a Sabbath to the Lord. It shall not be found in the plain. Six days you shall gather it, and on the seventh day is a Sabbath, for there shall be none on that day. And it came to pass on the seventh day that some of the people went forth to gather and found none. And the Lord said to Moses, How long are you unwilling to listen to my commands and my law? See, for the Lord has given you this day as a Sabbath, therefore he has given you on the sixth day the bread of two days. You shall sit each of you in your house and let no one go forth from this place on the seventh day. And the people kept the Sabbath on the seventh day. And the children of Israel called the name of it man. And it was white coriander seed, man being manna. And it was as white coriander seed, and the taste of it, it as a wafer with honey. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord has commanded, fill the homer with manna, to be laid up for your generations, that they may see the bread which you ate in the wilderness, when the Lord led you forth out of the land of Egypt. And Moses said to Aaron, Take a golden pot, and cast it into it one full homer of manna, manna, and you shall lay it up before God to be kept for your generations, as the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron. And Aaron laid it up before the testimony to be kept. And the children of Israel ate manna forty years, until they came to the land. They ate manna, until they came to the region of Phoenicia. Now the Homer was the tenth part of three measures. End of chapter 16.